guys, on today's video, we're going to be setting up your Xbox right here. So let's get started. So the first thing I have to show you is that back of your Xbox. Here's where your Ethernet cable will be if you're going to use an Ethernet cable or else Wi-Fi will just work fine. Here are USB ports, HDMI cable, and then storage expansion. Most of you will not have anything to put there just yet. And then all the way at the right side, you will see where you have to plug in your cable. That's your power cable. And on the front, you're going to see USB. This will be to sync your controller. And here, all the way at the right side, we're going to see the power button. So this is an actual button you can press in order to start up right here, your Xbox. Now, a lot of questions that I get about how to place this. Well, you could technically place it like this, straight up. There's nothing technically wrong with that. But if you want this to be the best ventilation possible, well, you have a lot of ventilation here. So you don't want that to be just right there at the table. Same goes with this or this. Now on the back side, you do have some ventilation, but that's very small. So the best way to place this anywhere would be just like so. So as long as it goes flat on something like this and you don't have anything too close right here on the sides, then you should be okay. So first of all, let's start off with the basics. These are your HDMI cables that you got with your Xbox. Doesn't matter which side goes where. You're just gonna have to put one here and then this will go on your TV. So you do need a TV that has HDMI and it can technically go on any port. Just make sure you know which one. So when you're selecting the source on your TV or monitor, you know if it's source one, two or three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then all the way in the far right side, you will see your power. So that's where this will go plugged in. So we're just gonna go on and plug this in here. There we go, as long as it's nice and secure right in there, you are set to go. So that side would be this, your power. So this, just hook it up to your outlet. The next part about setting up your Xbox is your controller. To set up your controller, it's really easy. The first thing is right here, your battery. So just push this up. Once this pops up, you will see that you need batteries. Now you do get batteries with your Xbox that just came, but you don't need to use those. You could buy some rechargeable batteries and use those as well. So I suggest these type of batteries, they last longer, they're way better. That way, if they run in low, you can just take them out, put another rechargeable battery in there, and then just keep cycling them on. Anyways, this would be this way, and this end, the plus sign, would go actually this way. So there we go. Then we just close this up like so, you just slide it in. And before we turn anything on, we have to download an app. Now get ready with that app, that's the Xbox app. Now the app can be downloaded on a phone, tablet, or iPod Touch. Doesn't really matter, it works perfect on all of them. So we're just gonna go into the App Store. We're gonna go look for that Xbox app, which is just called Xbox, very simple. Once we open up the Xbox app, it's gonna tell us this. Do we wanna set up a console? That's gonna be our second option. That's exactly what we want to do. So just get that ready because we're gonna turn on everything. We're gonna plug this into a monitor or TV and then we are ready to go. Which by the way, whether you guys have an old account from Xbox, you wanna transfer everything over, or you're brand new into Xbox, this is like same setup for all of you. And yes, you will be setting up an account. So if you don't wanna do it through here, you wanna do that on your computer, which might be a little bit faster for some of you, go ahead and create that Xbox account first. So that's just a regular Microsoft account, create one, then you guys can come back here. And yes, you need a Microsoft account in order to download games, whether they're free or paid. All right, so on your TV or monitor, you're gonna hook up your Xbox. So we're supposed to use the HDMI cable that they gave us. Don't use the ones that came out with your monitor or TV, and just make sure you know what HDMI port you're plugging into. So in this case, I'm gonna plug it into HDMI port one. So that was on the back of my monitor, but it really does depend what TV and what monitor you might have. You might have HDMI ports on the side, on the back, and in various areas, actually. So at this point, we're just gonna turn on our Xbox just by pressing the power button. We're supposed to see that light. So that's exactly what you wanna see. My, now my monitor, I'm about to check if it's turned on and if it's on the HDMI one. So here we go. Finally, we got some signal. It's working. That's the exact screen that we want to see. And yes, that's your verification code so you can set this up. It's gonna be so easy to transfer everything. And even if it's your first setup, make sure to make that Microsoft account before you even begin with anything. Microsoft account is extremely easy. Just need a Hotmail, 
and that's the easiest way really to set everything up so as mentioned before we did download the xbox app we're gonna open it up and what i'd suggest doing is not choosing the option to set up a new game console just sign in first so right here you're gonna see the option to sign in so just sign in first and you're gonna see that setup option later on as well so right now it's gonna ask us if we want to sign in and just click on continue at this point we're gonna see this sign in just put your email then just go to next put in your password and you're pretty much done so right now it's just sending me in of course i did have to verify this throughout my phone not just throughout my tablet and right now you just have to set this up so we're gonna go on to next we are gonna allow notifications you don't have to you might see a message like so just type in allow if you want to and right now it's asking me to allow friends and all that i don't want to do that right now so we're gonna skip all that about adding friends and finally we're back at this screen so it's gonna bring us here set up a console so we want to do that set up a console so at this point i do see that screen on my xbox and right here i can see enter the code on my app so i'm just gonna tap here and enter that code your code will be different once i put in the code just put connect console and you're gonna see this screen right here next up it's gonna ask us to join just put in join so this will make our life easy again we're just gonna click on okay so right now it's telling me that it's connected to right here my console so i can go next so right now it's gonna kind of guess where you are so i'm just gonna choose english so just standard us and the location canada you guys can change that up but just happen here checking australia or wherever else you're from and on the bottom just tap on next right now it's going to ask you to select your wi-fi so whatever your wi-fi network is it will ask you for your password when it comes down to your wi-fi and then it's just going to join this will make everything so much faster so you guys can see that on my screen just change it says connect continue set up on your phone in this case a tablet same deal most people do it on their phone and it's going to be the exact same thing so right now it does tell me that my console needs 1.2 gigs of an update which makes sense. There's always going to be updates when you get this started. So right now on my screen, I should be seeing this updating and it's just going to update that one gig. That does depend on your internet speed. Now, if you want this to be faster, just hook up your Xbox directly to your router using ethernet cable. And I do want to highlight that you will see these two options at the moment. You can go into energy saving or instant on. Instant on pretty much keeps your Xbox running the whole time. That's what it's doing in the background. Now, energy saving, it's actually turning off your Xbox. And that's why to start up your Xbox or do anything else will take a little bit longer just to get started. Then once you're in your Xbox, you're, you're good to go. But it's just like turning on a computer versus having no sleep mode. So that's the difference between the two, kind of. Now, what I want to do is energy saving for sure. And then going to next. Now, there's something called automatic updates. Yes, you can keep your games and apps up to date. And it actually does this while you're not using your console. So this is something that most of you will want, actually. Um, some of you may not want to. If you know and you play games that do glitch out sometimes, you may want to do that update yourself. Or else you might be surprised once you want to log into your game that nothing happens. Maybe it's stuck or something like that. All right, something else that you might see is this. Turn on remote features. This is actually awesome because you can do everything from your phone. So this is pretty cool because you can do everything from your phone. This is all about turning on your remote features. And yes, it's pretty cool because you can do everything from your phones. But that means that your Xbox is technically always turned on. So that's why if I turn this on, I'm going to get this message that I do have to enable the feature that takes up the most energy. So you may or may not want that. In this case, I do not want that because I just don't want to waste that energy. So I'm going to skip that. Next up, we just click next pretty much. And by this point, our Xbox is at 97, no, 95, 97, 99, 100% done with the update. And it's checking for my settings. Update has been complete. And back to our app, we still have some setup to do. And this part really becomes all about, is this Xbox being used just by you, by somebody else or your whole family? So if it's used by everybody, I would do the third option, lock it down. So you always need sign in in order to do anything however if this is just you and nobody else is going to touch it go ahead no barriers go for it and going to next the next part is about automatically being signed in and i actually don't want that i want that because i just have the one account next up we're just going to go about data next next part is almost about privacy do you want to share your info 
Well, in my case, yes. So I am in for sure. It's gonna tell us a little bit about sharing your data with publishers. I'm okay with that. This is almost about turning on spam or not. So if you guys want to get emails or not, it's your choice. For me, in my case, I'm not gonna turn on anything. I, I don't. Next, it's gonna ask us about apps that we want on our console. Let's just keep going to next. Next up, it's gonna ask us what which apps we want in your console. We're just gonna skip this for now. And now comes the fun part, because this is if you have another Xbox, this will detect. So you can go on and copy over what you have backed up. So I have something backed up from 16 days ago. However, if you guys are brand new to Xbox, it's not gonna ask you this. And you don't have to choose that. You can start fresh or you can copy the settings. It's up to you. In this case, we're gonna copy over settings. That's gonna ask us if this is gonna be used by kids. Nope. This point is the last option. We are all done. So we just click up there and we are all done. So we're all done with the app itself. So right now on your screen, you should be seeing something like so. So this is gonna tell you how to set up your controller. So right now it's the official setup for your controller. The batteries are inside, we're ready to go. So we can just hold on to this button. That's how you turn on your Xbox. And it's just gonna sync. So right now it means that it's it just sunk. So right now I just have to press A and you saw this flashing and then it's a stable light. That means we're good to go. It already got synced up. It was that easy. Just make sure you're not too far away. From there, we're gonna see this screen. It's really up to you if you guys want to get this. This is pretty good. It's a dollar for your first month and then you have to pay and you get a bunch of games. Of course, in order to play those games or anytime you wanna play those games, you do have to have this membership active. In my case, I'm just gonna go to the right. So I'm just using my joystick, go to the right. I'm gonna press A on no thanks. And we are officially gonna go on with the best settings for our TV. So in this case, it's a monitor, same thing. Just gonna press A. So we're gonna keep our display at 4K. So it looks just fine. And we're gonna go into Take Me Home. So this part you can skip or you can set it up right now. This is to use your voice to control. So again, up to you. In this case, we are gonna set it up because it's pretty cool to control it. And yes, in order to control it, it would be from your Google Home. So you have to sync these two things up. So right now on your phone or tablet, just download Google Home and then we can continue on with this setup. However, if you don't wanna do this, just wanna skip and get down to playing, just cancel it for now and you're ready to go. We can always do that later on anyways, that's not a problem. At this point in time, we're all done with the setup. You can get started with downloading any games, continuing on from where you left off. But although your Xbox should be up to date right now, what I suggest doing is always going to your settings, go down to your third option where it says system, second option says updates, and then just go into latest console update status. And then you should be seeing that everything's good to go. You can also check this. So if it's keeping everything up to date, we're just gonna leave that on. And where you want to go in order to get started with downloading games is your store. So just go to your store, and from here, download all the games that you want. So you can look up free games, paid games, everything. What I suggest doing is going to your games. Then from here, just going to top free. If you want to look for those free games and just keep downloading them. Some you may see that you need game pass. Others, you will see that you don't. Now the ones that you own, will say own right there because you have your account. If you're brand new to this, you will not see own on everything, on anything. But anyways, as far as this goes, we are all done. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in comments area. Don't forget subscribe and rate. Thank you.